And who's who, who's working in here? It's like our vet, isn't it? Oh, hang on, wait, we could use... Oh, uh, yeah, we have another vet. I guess for the time being, we can have them... Uh, oh, man, what, what do all these do? Tetanus. Nile virus. All these terrible viruses. So we could research some of these viruses and stuff. I think for right now, let's, let's just finish researching the species. All right, I'm going to get something exciting. Some kind of exciting animal. What's like an exciting animal? I don't I don't really know what an exciting animal is. I mean African wild dogs actually sound kinda cool. So group size two to six, four males up to two females. Um let's take a look at how expensive those guys are. African wild dog. Eh, moderately expensive. We need at least two. We only have 120 things here. Oh here we can get this guy. He's a pretty terrible dog, but like We could buy, like, one cheap one. I don't think that's worth it. There's plenty of them on the market, though. Oh, here we go. Wait, hang on. We can get this one. Cash one. <laughs> we can get the one that has a terrible longevity gene. Okay, these ones all have pretty bad genes. Can I find one for, like... Alright, this, this guy. Oh, it's another female, though. I want one with like some nice, some nice balanced genes. This guy's pretty balanced. It's another female, of course. Dang it. This guy's moderately balanced, at least. We'll go for him. That way we, we at least have two. Oh, this guy's gonna go. Oh, that's a girl, though. We need more food. Why are you not feeding these people? A VIP guest has arrived. Hello. Overview. Education. What does the education mean? Maybe, oh, that must be something that we can do for the guests. Can we, can we educate the guests? No? Information? Yeah, let's like put down like a nice info, an info center. I don't really know what that does, but... Prices, audio guide, adoption pack cheap, green umbrellas, all right. Sure, what the heck, right? Oh, we're up to 150 people in the zoo. Uh, do people like the ostrich? What, what What are the thoughts? I suppose the view of the common ostrich from here is dot, 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 fine. All right, well, that's fair. We should do something cool. I still want more crocodiles. I mean, crocodiles are pretty dope, not gonna lie. We already got our wild dogs, though, so I guess, I guess they're next, right? So yeah, what the heck, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's make some, some wild dogs. A wild dog habitat. The inspector is arriving soon again. Vet research is complete again. Look at that, we've done it. Um... I can remember how to control the camera. That would be a good start. I would imagine that, like, the wild dogs probably don't need that much space. At least I wouldn't imagine. I could be totally wrong, as I am with a lot of things in this game. <laughs> Alright, I get. Wait, hang on. We can look. We can look first. Um, dominance alpha male and alpha female. Can guest enter habitat? No. Natural habitat, land requirement, decent amount of land. Need at least grade two fencing. All right, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's uh, let's let's throw some wild dogs in here and hope for the best. Actually, before we do that, let's give them. Let's do a staff path over here. It goes right in between. Oh come on, I know you can fit. Yep, there we go. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll just connect up to this one over here. There we go. Look at that. Let's put some trees in the middle here as well. Make it make it look nice. Look, things are things are coming together a little bit. Biome. We want uh, grassland. Let's see what see what we got. 
A river bush willow tree? Interesting, but... Yeah, look, maybe, maybe, maybe we can even uh, play with the terrain a little bit here. It's like... Little, little hill over here or something. Sure. I mean, it's kind of, it looks kind of stupid, but <laughs> that's okay. And then let's, let's see. Candelabra tree. I don't know how I feel about that one. Marula tree. Yeah, what the heck. We'll put a nice, a nice little tree up there. Maybe another one over here. Like rotate it a little bit. That way it hangs over the path. Put down a little bit of plants. The bongo are having offspring again. They really need to cut it out. I think that looks kind of dumb, but that's okay. Here, how about a golden rod? There we go. These ones look not that dumb. All right, it looks kind of stupid, but that's fine. All right, now this is probably still the same offspring as they were having before. Vet research is complete. Is it the ostrich research? Hey, it is. Oh, and bongo research as well. Uh, let's take a look at what we have for the ostrich now. Ah, we have some special feeders. An herb scent maker. I'll give them some of that. That way they have some stuff to play with. Can't find accessible research station. What? One of Habitat's one's walls looks damaged. Does it? Oh, it's probably because we have two of them researching. So we need to, uh... Wait, do we have both of them researching right now? I think I, th I think we need to put down another research center. Uh, all, which is in staff. Research center small. There we go. All right, so over here we're gonna need for this we need a habitat gate. And maybe for the wild dogs, we'll, like, really spice things up with their habitat. Alright, the other thing we want to do is... I'm going to make all of this glass, I think. And what we can do with the wild dogs is give them, like, a nice little... I don't know. Something that looks good. See, I, like, want to, you know, make it at least a little hilly. Oh, I guess we can't over there because of the keeper thing. Smoothing it out a little bit as well. Maybe we'll put like a nice little, uh, like a small, small kind of lake thing over here. Smoothing this guy out a little bit. Just fill it up with water. All right, too much water. Nah, actually, that's probably fine. I always underestimate, like, the size of the lakes. Actually, yeah, that is too much water, I think. Smooth these guys out. It's hard to tell now because the, the whatchamacallit grew back. All right, I'm sure that's fine. That's fine for the wild dogs. Um, the bongo's about to have offspring for the twelfth time in a row. Let's move these guys into the habitat, and then we'll find out what they need, I guess. Ah, oh, look at that! We're starting to come together a little bit here. We're gonna get a nice view of these guys. What 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 kind of things would like a? Oh, we should put like a little cave or something. Can we do that? The bongo has had offspring. Where's where's the baby? Oh my god, it's a baby. It's another male though. So great, it's gonna be all mad about everything in the world, as all the males are in this habitat. Right, we need a we need a keeper over here. I don't think I'm gonna hire another. Well, I definitely need at least one more keeper. Oh, we got more research bongo research again. Um, so we definitely need at least one more keeper. 
because we're gonna need one for the uh, this habitat. And what do you guys need? All right, let's take a look at the habitat first. So it needs obviously it needs stuff. Let's work on terrain first. Can I move? Oh, that's how you rename it. Can I move this window, please? No. All right, I can at least do this. Um, so we need more short grass. So we'll put the short grass around, maybe around here. How's that going for them? Okay, they're 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 quite enjoying here. We'll make high intensity short grass. So is there like a difference between low intensity short grass and high intensity short grass? I don't really know, honestly. They also need soil. Some heavy, heavy snow. I like light soil. Oh, now we have too much soil. Uh, we can we can put some more short grass. Oh, I see it. Like if like you mix it in, it kind of like mixes. If so, like if if you put 100% intensity, it like you know it just makes it solid. But if you mix it, you get like a little, you know, like a mixing of of the materials. So I can put like see it mixes the rocks and the short grass. Okay, that looks cool. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. All right, well, you know, say no more, chief. How do I? Uh, oops. How do I? How do I raise my ticket prices? Is that, is that over here? Um. We'll, we'll like raise them up to seven dollars. The, the African wild dog is currently the most appealing. I like want to make them like a rock cave. How about that? Let's do it. I need some rocks. Yeah, some big old rocks here. New desert rocks, tiger rocks, tropical. I guess desert rocks is what we want. Oh, savanna rocks. Hang on. All right, we got this. We got this. We'll make them like a nice little. I don't know. Some kind of cave. Over here, maybe. All right, we're gonna have to stack these in some way that makes like logical sense. I'll just like, give these a few rotations and stuff, and smack a bunch of rocks together, and I'm sure it'll look fine, right? Uh, oh yeah, look at this! Look at this guy. We'll give him like a. <laughs> this is gonna look. <laughs> Hopefully, it looks good. I mean, it might look good. My hopes aren't terribly high. Hey, we got more vet research complete again. I mean, my guess is that it's gonna look a little goofy. Just because it's me that's making it. I want like a big. Okay, so like these guys we'll use for the top. That's the same rock that we have there already. Let's switch to like a different, a different rock. Stack a bunch of rocks. So now, what if we just throw some some top rocks on there? Say we do like this. Maybe we just flip a few around a bunch. Switch to a different size one. This is like a little tiny one. Give it a little bit of texture. Beautiful. Look at this. It's really, it's really coming together now. We're building a little cave. <laughs> my, uh, I'm sure you can all tell already, but my planet zoo building capabilities are really, uh, they're not, not quite up to snuff. They're not horrible though, I think. I think we get like a. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I like one of these. And then I can rotate it. Not that way. Is this the way I wanted to rotate it? Yes, and no. There we go, like that. And now we can position it to look like a little thing that holds up the cave. And someone said, whoa! <laughs> They're amazed! I think I think it's a little floating right now. Uh, so we have to rotate it a little more. Alright, we actually, we actually might need two. And like that. Boom. 
There we go. All right, all right. Protesters have arrived at my zoo. What are they going to protest for? Oh, of course, man. Just when things started to actually go decently. Finally starting to get some nice-looking rocks up in here. You know, have a beautiful zoo. Some protesters are going to come mess it all up. Stupid protesters there. That one looks a little funny, but... All right, we used Savannah Rock 9 like 12 million times. How about Savannah Rock 5? We haven't used that one much yet. Deceased animal discovered. Who died? Oh, hang on. This guy needs moved. That looks stupid. Who died? Oh, no. Oh, diseased animal. I thought it said deceased animal. Instead, it's just Adana the Bongo. He has... Oh, jeez. Campylobacterosis. All right, yeah, call the vet over. Find out what this man's deal is. Also, hang on, we need more stuff for the bongos. They have plant. Oh, they have a, ru a rubbing pillar. Put that right over here next to the tree. How about that? And a hanging raising feeder. Where are the protesters? Oh, there they are. All eight of them. Uh, they're mad because we have the animals locked up. Of course they are. All right, we could put some more plants maybe in uh, in this this habitat. All right, I want to filter by grassland. Let's go Africa since these are African wild dogs. Give them like a nice tree back there. Yeah, I feel like they need some reeds around their plant here or around their pond. Maybe like a nice, a nice, a nice big thing of reeds, right in the middle of the pond. No, that looks kind of dumb. That one looks too big. Uh, of course, an acacia tree. I don't really like that that tree though. Hmm. Oh, hang on. This is like the type of tree I want. The umbrella thorn acacia tree. We'll go we'll go we'll go tree number three this time. Are you happy dogs? How you doing? Ah, perfect. Many guests think the tickets are now overpriced. Alright. We'll go down to five dollars then. Alright, we're gonna send someone to research. All right, what are we what are we researching now? Ostrich and other stuff we got. Let's let's put a little bit of research into the wild dogs. I'm sure we've gotten new stuff for the ostriches. Ostriches. Oh yeah, we can get them a ball. Go ahead, ostriches, go nuts. And a crazy feeder. Which we'll put next to their existing feeder. All right, look at this. The wild dogs look pretty good. Oh, they—they they, uh, we also need a donation thing for them. There we go. That way people can donate to our animals. Look at all these protesters. Get them out of here. Can we kick them out? Angry about the low welfare of some of my animals. What animals have low welfare? I mean, maybe the bongos. The bongos are not exactly living the best life over here, are they? Oh, what? This guy's got 89% welfare. He's got 86. Got 86? Come on. What are y'all mad about? He's, oh, these guys have got 90. Jeez. Low welfare of some animals. Maybe the wild dogs are probably not happy, I'm sure. Where are they? Are they in here? Is that a wild dog? Oh, 28%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay. I now understand. He has severe welfare issues. Alright, let's see if we can find another African wild dog. Uh, African wild dog filter. Oh, actually, I want over here. Yeah. Um, preferably another female one. Alright, I won't really sort by price. I'll just, I'll, I'll sort by, I don't know. Yeah, actually, wait, never mind. Yeah, let's definitely sort by price. Let's, like, get, like, another another middle-of-the-road wild dog. How about this guy? Not not exactly great. This one's better. 
This one's approaching old age, though. Oh, hang on. This one's pretty good. All right, we need a slightly cheaper one as well. We're going to spend pretty much all of our credits here. This one's not bad. There we go. Now we can bring these guys over here, and hopefully they'll be uh, a little more happy. I know, I'm terrible. Hopefully after this they'll be a little happier. They don't have any enrichment either, which doesn't help them. Uh-oh, their, uh, their state is declining even more. Now, now they've gotten some friends though, so hang on. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully their their state will, will rise a little bit. Social. Oh, crowding issues. Oh, they're too crowded. That's what the issue is. Oh, we can we can do something about that. All right. What we can do is we can just go from here. Let's just make their enclosure way bigger. this barrier, those parts, and delete them. You happy now, wild dogs? Oh, look at that. Immediately jumps up. Now they're much better. Now they have friends, and they have a nice bigger enclosure. And now they can happily run around. We, we need to put some more trees or something over there, though. Let's put some more umbrella thorn acacias. Just because I like these trees. Let's like maybe do some of the terrain as well. Make it make it a little more exciting than just totally flat. Actually, maybe not. So what happens if I like pull up terrain around here? Can I make it like a like really cool looking? Oh, I think I can actually. That way we can actually make it look like it's like built into like the side of like a hill. Smooth this out a little bit. Give it some good old smoothening. The ostrich is going to have more babies again. Are you much happier, dogs? Ah, oh, they're much happier. Hmm, they, they need a little more shelter space, though. Oh, and the terrain is not quite good anymore, though. So we got to replace this with short grass. What's this guy over here? We can pretty much just 100% paint that short grass. Still need more of that. And they are going to need some more soil as well. So I'll go like 40% on the soil. Mix some of that in. Oh, much better. Much better for the dogs. Hopefully they'll be much happier now. Hey, we got an award, did we? Drink profits. We had wow, five hundred dollars in yearly drink profits. Oh, that's right. We can still adopt exhibit species. Maybe we can put like I don't know. I don't like these spiders. They kind of freak me out. Oh, how about a brown snake? Yeah. Are these all like? Is there any of them that aren't for money? No. Alright, I just want to sort them by name. Western Diamond Bay. Where's the Eastern Brown Snake? Oh, Puff Adders are kind of cool, though. I like snakes. Like, I actually, like, enjoy snakes. Oh, Gila Monsters, though. They're kind of cool, too. Hmm. Ooh, nah, I want snakes. I'll get, I'll get a male and a female. They're kind of expensive. Where's my snakes? Did we get them? Um, I, I says I don't have any stored animals. Where'd they go? Hello, snakes? Um, man. Oh, there we go. So there's one, and this guy as well. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we have like a snake, a snake exhibit. 
Oh, look at this. Can we look at the snakes? Oh, yeah, look at that. Now we have some snakes here. Wait, can we can we put donation boxes for the snake? <laughs> those, those, those two snakes can really be raking in those that cash. Oh, yeah, look at them. Look how nice. Beautiful. I just realized that this episode's been going for about an hour, so I think that's definitely where I'm going to end it here. So I'll probably split this up into two episodes, but... Thank you everyone for watching. I have been the Saxy Gamer. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. Uh, if you're looking for some more Planet Zoo, feel free to subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comment section how you're liking this series. Uh, if you think I'm terrible at the game and don't want to see any more of it. Or if you actually think it's cool and want to see more. Uh, just let me know. And we'll, uh, we'll, see how, uh, we'll, we'll see how much longer we play this for. But uh, thank you for everyone for watching. And goodbye.